Hi guys! So welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be doing something really exciting. I'll be doing full face of Dior makeup. I have a gigantic bag of the Dior makeup with me and I'm going to be having fun with them, doing my makeup look and giving you guys my thoughts and opinion about the products. Alright, first of all, I have a lot of the brushes, makeup brushes. I have a powder a concealer brush and a foundation brush so that is very exciting oh I also have this face brush which is good for powder as well I'm gonna start off with priming my face with Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream in Light So, um, I'm going to be starting off with Dior Prestige foundation. My colour is in one end. About this foundation, it's also based on their serum. So it's like a skincare mix foundation kind of thing. I am going to be using this for the foundation. Really, really brand new in box. <gasps> they even come with a brush. Wow, uh, okay, I did not know that. So I don't need a foundation brush with this. Ooh. There's a tiny book about this product in like 10 hundred different languages, so. I am going to be using this foundation though. It's so beautiful. I, oh my God, I just can't believe it. Um, I'm thinking if I should use the brush that comes with it. Let me feel this brush. Oh. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna try using this brush though. I am not gonna directly put the product on the brush because that's just gonna absorb everything and nothing will be on my face. Oh. This is super gorgeous. Blend it with the brush that comes with it. Even though this brush is so freaking soft, it still got some like butter with such a soft brush and a liquid product. I am The feeling of just gliding this brush on my face, it's so good. So. I am done for the foundation. I am going on with my concealer. I didn't get a concealer from Dior, so I'm going to be using the Marc Jacob concealer here. I forgot to prep my lips. But I have Dior lip oil over here in rosewood for my lips. Okay, I honestly don't know if it's the lighting or the foundation, but my face looks so glowy, so good. Wait, I haven't even blend out my concealer though. Okay. 
That was so dramatic, but I'm opening up the concealer brush. I am done with the concealer. I'm gonna be powdering my face now. I did not get a powder from Dior also, but I did get like a face powder brush. It is in the shape like this. So tiny. Dior. <laughs> I'm going to be powdering my face with Charlotte Tilbury's Flawless Powder. The brush is so smooth, so freaking smooth. Feels like cotton, feels like clouds on my face. Wow. So I did a bit of contouring with powder contour. I am going to be moving on with eyeshadow. And I have this extremely gorgeous eyeshadow from Dior. The colors. Get these tones. The brush just dropped. Using these beautiful shades. Wow. The colors are so beautiful to be honest. I'm gonna be doing a more daily, very easy look. So I'm not gonna be using too much darker colors. I'll be using the top left color. So all of them off my crease. Using this slightly smaller brush, I'm going to be using the colour in the middle. I'm going to be using the bottom left colour. Because it's a very nice shimmer colour, I'm going to use it on the centre of my eyes. I'm going to be using this tiny little brush and pick up the top right colour which is a very gorgeous looking shimmer for the centre of my eyes. my eyeliner and mascara I am going to be doing my blusher now I have two blushers from both from Dior backstage one is in pink and coral gained a lot of popularity I think when Kylie Jenner was using it so kind of exciting and I want to try so let's do it for today's look, I think it was like with the eyeshadow or more purple pink tones, I'm gonna be using the blusher in pink. And of course, I am going to be using the powder blush. The packaging though, the packaging is so good. It 
looks extremely like shocking pink here but it actually looks really pretty really natural when you apply it i have three lipsticks with me they are all roach duo forever liquid let me tell you the shades are so so beautiful this is in forever nude just look at this packaging super gorgeous it's such a gorgeous color i'm gonna swatch i'm gonna swatch it and i don't know if i'm going to be using this color because i have other two to decide it comes out such a beautiful color um wow the other one is forever dream Wow, it's a more warm tone kind of color. Best part about this forever liquid is they don't smudge. Okay, they do, but minimum. So I'm gonna be swatching um forever nude. If eh, no, sorry, forever dream. Tree, this darker, more warm tone also. The last one is in Forever Grace. It's a lot more pink color. Gonna be whoa. Such a beautiful color as well. Wow. So I decided to go with Forever Nude. It's more um, complementing. Thank you guys so much for watching today and if you enjoyed today's video be sure to give it a like and subscribe to me and i'll be back really soon